there is a fundamental and underlying issue with yield max funds that many people fail to talk about, which I will be speaking about in this video. Yield max funds have been attractive to high yield dividend investors, and not only is the problem with the funds themselves, but the community around these funds is very dangerous and inflammatory, and I'm just trying to, uh, let's say, spread awareness on the dangers of these funds and why I don't believe you should invest in them. Now, before you click off the video, I'm going to try to my best to do an unbiased uh, run of all this. So please just give it a chance. If you're a high yield dividend guy, just give the video a chance. Um, but before we get into it, let's roll the intro. I have been a rich man and I have been a poor man and I choose rich every time. My name is Daniel and my channel is Dividend Dude. You should leave a like and subscribe if you're going to enjoy the video. Just a disclaimer, this is not financial advice. I am just a dividend growth investor trying to share my takes on dividend growth stocks and various other stocks. This is not financial or investment advice and always do your own due diligence before investing. Before we dive deeper, we are going to go into the YieldMax official page. This is the official page of YieldMax. And we can see all the funds right here. And the first negative that I want to mention about these funds is that 0.99% expense ratio that you are being charged. When the S&P 500 averages returns of 10% per year and you're getting 1%, that's 10% of your potential returns. And some people might get higher, some people might get lower. But either way, you're losing 1% of your total returns every single year, which compounded is a lot of lost money. But the main thing that I want to say while on this page is if we scroll down, a lot of people in the community and regarding yield max do not mention the risk. If uh, some people talk about risk, they may be called an idiot in their community or Discord server or even banned from some of these servers. And I just want to see this is what the yield max people wrote themselves and they have an obligation for you to invest in this fund because they collect that expense ratio let's read what they said before investing you should carefully consider the fund's investment objectives risks charges and expenses this and other information is in the prospectus please read the prospectuses carefully before you invest now i guarantee you most of the people invest in yield max don't even know what a prospectus is and if they do they definitely have not read the yield max prospectus uh, there's a few of you that probably did, and that's great. And if you're investing and you understand the risk, that is okay. But I still have more in this video to cover about the negatives of these funds that seem to be undercovered. Another thing that they say here is the fund trust and sub-advisor are not affiliated with the underlying stock. These funds do not own any of the underlying stock. It's a synthetic covered call strategy, which most of the people who invest in the funds probably do not understand it. And if they do understand it, why don't you do it yourself and not get charged that 1% expense ratio? Now, another thing they mention under this risk page is due to the fund's investment strategies, the fund's investment exposures are concentrated in the same industries that are assigned to the underlying stock or ETF. As with any investment, there's a risk you could lose all or part of your investment in the fund. Some or all of these risks may adversely affect the fund's net asset value, NAV per share, trading prices, yields, total returns, and or ability to meet their objective. And we have seen this with Tesla, which we are going to show you right now. As you can see, Tesla is down 32% year to date. And if we go to the max chart, this company is down 60% and had to do reverse splits for this NAV erosion. Now this is, if I'm not mistaken, the yield max fund that has been out the longest period of time. And we're seeing this NAV erosion in real time. Now I know Tesla is going down, so that has something to play in it, but this is also down 60%. And if we go just take a look at this dividend history at a glance, we could see that the dividend history over time has already decreased to the lowest dividend payouts we have seen from this fund. So not only is the price return going down uh, over time, but the dividends are decreasing over time. And another thing that I have to mention is I understand you want income, but this is not the way to do it by just looking at that yield right here, that 95% yield and buying the fund. That's not, you have to look deeper than that. If we just compare even Tesla, and we're going to uh, pull up total return here for you guys. So you're not saying, oh, the income is not factored in. We're going to pull up Tesla and we're going to compare it to Tesla. Now, both of these have underperformed the S&P, but that's not what we're going to be talking about. We have the fact that Tesla has underperformed Tesla in a bear market. A lot of the people are in a bear market for Tesla specifically. A lot of the people that talk about these yield max funds are saying, oh, if uh, 
Tesla goes down and you're invested in Tesla, you're offsetting that by getting income, which we could see is not true because you're actually getting a worse return than Tesla or if you just invested in the underlying fund and sell part of your principal for that income. The nature of these funds will cause them to underperform in total return long term to all the underlyings. I, I hate hearing some people say it's going to outperform somehow. And if you want the income, you could sell some of your principal. At any point selling some of this principal from Tesla, you would have done better uh, than investing in Tesla. And now another argument that people are going to make, what about the companies that have risen a lot? Well, let's take a look at NVDY. This is the yield max NVIDIA option. And as you know, NVIDIA has risen substantially. I mean, this company is up a lot year to date and up a lot in the past year. So what about this one, right? I mean, they have a, a yield of 33% and a lot of people are going to be very attracted to this. Well, let's compare NVDY to NV, uh, duh. Let's, let's see how NVDY compares to NVD, uh, and we're going to do this in total return as well. So you can see NVDY is up 124% in the past year. Pretty good, right? Well, if you compare it to if you just invested in the underlying NVDA, you would be up 250% over double what you're up with NVDY. So not only does the yield max cap your total returns, cap your potential growth, but they're exposed to all of the downside. And over time, these funds have been proven to erode the principal. So I just want you to understand a couple things. The underlying will always underperform the underlying stock. So that income you're getting is at an expense of your total return. You're basically charging your total return to turn into income and you're losing that expense ratio. That's first of all. And this is also mentioned by the people who run these yield max funds. Another thing is, if you understand the strategy and you want to genuinely invest in these funds, why do you just not do it yourself and not get charged that 1% expense ratio? And thirdly, you cannot retire off this because like we're seeing with Tesla, you're losing your principal over time. That dividend is going down over time. And I mean, sure, you're going to get your income for a little bit. But what happens when there's another reverse split, when that dividend keeps going down? I mean, it's something we have yet to see. And I'm scared for a lot of these communities that think it's all great. And just this thing is happy go lucky. You're getting 6000 a month in income. Everything's great. That's the video, guys. I just want to talk about some of these risks with these yield max funds, as I believe they haven't been mentioned. But thank you all for watching that video. And if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. Comment your thoughts if you agree or disagree. I will be talking to you guys on there. Thank you all for watching the video. Peace.